the the big point of discussion today is about Zach. Did let's start with a, with a quasi positive, Joe. Did you take anything positive out of his performance yesterday? You know, you're talking about Flip. You got me thinking about Geraldine. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? No, I didn't take anything positive out of it yesterday. It was awful. Why? Why? Yeah. Were you watching? Uh, yes. Is anyone watching? <laughs> I mean, please. When did you ever see a, a well, well, it's Zach. We'll stay on Zach. You sit down? You sit down on the play? You go right down? What happens? I thought you're trying to win and make plays. You quit on a play? Mm -hmm. you, what is going on? It, 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 it's disgusting. Only underscore wireless, please make sure you include the underscore. And this is only underscore wireless TV, of course. Please subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, hit the like button for your mans and them. Zach Wilson is getting his ass torn apart right now. Stephen A. Smith, Shannon Sharp, Nick Wright, Joe Namath's old ass, national media, local media, the fans in the stands, his teammates. I mean, you got Sauce Gardner and Garrett Wilson on the sideline openly talking about the fact that he can't throw the ball. Um, you got Robert Sala trying in vain to defend him, but he's putting up a pretty weak defense because at this point, Zach Wilson is losing the locker room and Robert Sala is soon to follow him, soon to follow in those footsteps of losing the locker room. So I was going to ask, how did this happen? How did Zach Wilson, just based on what we see, the product on the field, how did he get drafted? But that's not too hard to understand because clearly he put together the right tape. His junior year coming out of BYU in 2021, he threw for 33 touchdowns, only three interceptions, made it to a bowl game, beat two ranked teams. He looked confident. He looked poised. He looked like an NFL prospect. But what you really have to take a closer look at, at least I think you should, what sort of competition did he face in college? The game was much slower for him in college because I think he was playing above his ceiling in college. He's seeing ghosts on the field. He's feeling pressure when it's not there. When the pressure is there, he's not stepping up in the pocket. He's not escaping. The escapability isn't what it was when he was at BYU. He's throwing the ball to check downs when he should be throwing it to the first down marker. He's being indecisive. He's patting the ball and holding it. He's pretty much fucking up right now. Now, it's important to keep in mind, Zach Wilson shouldn't even be in this position. The biggest news coming out of the NFL offseason was that Aaron Rodgers was going to take his talents to New York, play for the New York Jets. There was a huge rollout and there was a lot of promise there. There was a possibility based on the running game, based on the defense. They are added pieces to the offensive line. They were supposed to be projected to win their division and possibly make it to the Super Bowl. Aaron Rodgers isn't going to play forever. He's 39 years old. But 75 seconds into Aaron Rodgers' tenure in New York, he pops his Achilles. One way or another, come hella high water, Zach Wilson was thrusted back into the spotlight, back into the starting lineup, when he should theoretically be holding the clipboard right now. So I think that's the part that makes me feel for the young man. The fact that he's not even supposed to be in this position under this pressure, but now that he's under the pressure, we got to analyze what's going wrong. I think the fact that he didn't have consecutive successful seasons or impressive seasons at BYU should have been a red flag, but he has the measurables, the mobility, the vision. He had the arm talent, the arm strength. He seemed like a sure bet. It looks like a bad investment. It looks like a bad gamble at this point. I don't know if he's gonna be able to salvage his career in New York. The Jets are in the process of bringing in free agents. I think Trevor Simeon is the quarterback that they brought in. Colin Kaepernick made news. Colin Kaepernick and J. Cole made news. Uh, Colin Kaepernick uh, pinned a letter to the New York Jets organization trying to get a roster spot, a practice squad spot, possibly work his way into the starting lineup. I don't think that shit's gonna work, but that's another story. I think it's something about him having the baby face and seeming so childlike that kind of makes me feel for the kid. This seems like it's too much for him. It seems like the game is too fast. He's not able to process. He's not able to see those windows. Those windows aren't as large as they were at BYU now that he's in the pros. He seems like he's in hell out there. 
He's patting the ball, holding it too long. That's leading the sacks. The offensive line isn't what the Jets thought it was going to be coming into the season. That's kind of sort of the reason why Aaron Rodgers has a pop the Achilles and had to have surgery. So, I don't know. I think Zach Wilson's issue has more to do with confidence and less to do with ability. The game is simply moving too fast for him. And I can't see it slowing down during the course of this season. Watching Zach Wilson against the Patriots, there were moments. There were little glimpses. There, there, there was a glimmer of hope. There were, there were moments when he looked like his former self. He looked like the guy, the stud coming out of BYU. But it's just not consistent. It's not sustainable at this point. I think Zach Wilson might be one of those guys who's able to salvage his career as a journeyman somewhere down the road. But he's clearly not going to be the franchise guy, the franchise quarterback. He's, he's not going to be a pillar of the organization in New York. It's just not going to happen. At this point, there's just too much, there's too much bad juju. There's, there's the, the, the vibes are terrible. Um, he, he's losing the locker room, and that's something that you normally would assign to a head coach, but I think you can apply it to Zach Wilson in this instance. Um, shit is fucked up, man. And uh, it's, it's only going to get worse. But you guys, tell me what you think. Do you think it has more to do with ability or it's more mental? Why is Zach Wilson struggling so mightily for the New York Jets? Tell me what you think in the comments. And if you made it this far, thank you. Shouts out to you. You the motherfucking man. Only underscore Wallace TV. Out.